remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Former Vice President Joe Biden had a heated exchange with the construction worker who accused him of trying to take away his guns. This happened during a campaign stop in Michigan, one of the six states that are holding primaries today. At one point, Joe Biden told the construction worker, you're full of shit. What happened, family? What happened to class? What happened to decorum? These politicians are something else. What do y'all think? Do y'all think that they're going to take away your guns? I don't think so. I think it would be a national disaster if they tried to take away American guns. Well, they've already tried to take away some people's guns. You know what I'm talking about? Wink, wink depending on what you look like, they try to make it hard for you to have guns. That's all part of the plan. Do the right thing. Keep your nose clean so you can make sure you can hold on to your guns. Because the moment you go out there and commit a felony, they're trying to take it out of your hands. I can see taking away the guns of someone who had planned a mass murder and got caught up. But even if you commit murder, like you shoot a person, y'all got into it somehow, struggle ensued or whatever, and you shot the person dead. If you end up in jail and you do your time, when you finish your sentence out, whether it be jail time or jail plus parole, probation, whatever. You should have your rights fully restored as a citizen. After all, they're making you pay taxes, right? They want you to be a productive citizen. They want you to be a good neighbor. They want you to follow all the laws of the land. They should give you all of your rights back. That's the way I see it. I don't see them taking away those guns, though. Not in America. Too many people got guns. I think, what do we have, like, there's 300 million people in America and some change, and there's, like, over a billion guns. It's not going to happen. They're not going to take away those guns. I think that, if anything, it'll be a big old shootout. Some people just ain't going to willingly give those guns up. Now, they are trying to make a, they are trying to say that they're going to differentiate what type of guns that people can hold on to. They want to take away the assault rifles. I disagree. I think people should be able to have an assault rifle if the police got assault rifles. Because you can't trust the police. If, if, you could, if we could actually trust the police if the police was doing right by the people and we didn't have every day where police officers are gunning down innocent people and raping people and stealing and extorting and brutalizing people and they would say, well, only the cops need assault rifles. I'd say, okay, well, that's fine. Cool, okay, I, I can get with that. I trust the police. But because I don't trust the police, I don't think they should have assault rifles. I say if anybody should have assault rifles, it should be the military. And they should only be used when the military has to come in on an operation. These police departments should not have assault rifles. And they should not have tanks. Americans should not have to look out their window and see a tank rolling down their damn street. It's insane. This militarization of the police in America, this state, this police state that we're living in, it's not going to work. Overall, it's going to be real bad for the people. These guns, okay. 
Yes. Everybody should be checked. Everybody should have to pass some type of background check in order to have a gun. I agree with that. But just taking away folks' guns and the police having guns? Hell no. I don't believe that. But what say you? Maybe you got a different point of view. And if you do, I need you to explain to me why they should have guns and the public should not. Now back to Joe Biden and the original comment that brought us here. Politicians once upon a time were looked at as dignified individuals. Today, not so much. Joe Biden was crud. Even back in the days when politicians were looked at as dignified individuals. He had a certain edge to him and you knew what he was about. Over the past 20 years, he's been able to keep that edge kind of under wraps. You know he talks like that in private, but he lately has been saying things in public that's considered to be unpresidential. There's a whole climate of politicians just acting real classless. I blame Trump. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.